Welcome everybody. Most of you all were here with us these past four days. Some of you guys were not. And so you guys will get a little taste of what we do. And I pray that uh yeah, you'll be able to make it for VBS next year. Um we have to wait a whole year. Hopefully your parents, if you weren't here, hopefully your parents kind of went over some of the songs so you're familiar. But uh, we've been going over Proof Pirates, P-R-O-O-F. And uh, maybe I'll ask you all, um, what does P stand for? P is for? Grace. Plan Grace. Right, we're all talking about grace. So plan grace. God mapped out our salvation. And then we have R. Yes, what? Wesley. Resurrecting grace. Very good. When we were dead, God made us alive. And then we have two O's. One O is the first O is yes. Outrageous grace. Very good. Outrageous grace. Outrageous means something that is it is so hard to even think about. It's so ridiculous. It's so crazy. But that's the love that God pours upon us, even when we're dead in our sins. Um, and then we have another O. Does anyone maybe? Oh yeah, right back there. Overcoming. Yes, very good. Overcoming grace. I heard it. I heard it. You tried it. Yeah, doing something extremely hard. Oh, maybe even impossible, but yet able to succeed over that. Today, we are on F, which is forever grace. Forever grace. Okay, so before we continue, I'm going to invite my dance crew back up here. We're going to sing a couple songs. Kara is not here. Oh, here she is. Um, and then if you can all stand, we're going to sing God Drew the Map. All right, God Drew the Map. Who remembers God Drew the Map? Yes, good, 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 good. Who drew the map? Remember, guys, March. Final story of Pirate Eddie and 
Buccaneer Bob or Charlie. 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 Bob. Buccaneer Charlie. He's a guy. I knew there was sand, so that's where the ship is, yes? But Pirate Eddie, there's sand everywhere. What? The ship could be anywhere. I mean, it's on the sand. It shouldn't be hard to find. Maybe, maybe the, uh, the, the waves put the ship away somehow. <sighs> You're right, Captain Eddie. That's a possibility, but didn't you use an anchor? An anchor would prevent the ship from sailing away in the storm, oh. right? I can't remember. Did I use an anchor? Let me see. I I I drove the or sailed the ship into the cove. And then what did I do? I uh I I, I put some rope over to make sure it's tied around some limb. Yes. And then yeah, that's right. I did drop the anchor down. So it must be around here, right? It must be. Wait. Does anyone know where the ship is?
Alright, so we'll finish with one last song, Grace. until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. So, there's a couple things here. Um, forever is a long time, right? Forever means like, can we ever reach the end of forever? No. No, no. right? Um, sometimes we use that word forever kind of wrong. I don't know if you've ever been one of those kids that said like, wait, we have to wait five minutes? That's gonna be forever, right? Oh, what, we can't do iPad for 30 minutes? I can't wait forever. What, how come parents, when they go to eat, it's just talking, we're done eating. You guys talk for ever, right? But really, that's not really forever, because there's an end to that, right? It's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe some goes to an hour, or let's say even let's go even further, like a day, two days, whatnot. I have this, let's pretend, okay? This is all pretend. There's no such thing as a forever rope, okay? So I couldn't buy that on Amazon. I searched for it, there's no such thing. But let's just pretend this rope goes forever, okay? And this is the end of, this is the beginning, okay? And this rope just continues to go and go and go, no matter how much we have, it just continues to go, right? 
It's kind of tangled up sometimes, but it just keeps on going, okay? Let's just pretend. It's still pretty long, but it's not really far. So we have to use our imagination. And let's pretend like, remember we did t the timeline, like day one or, uh, of BBS? A timeline is our life and everything that happens in our life. And let's say just the beginning, so you were born right here, okay? And then let's just say this much accounts for like 70 years. And you guys are all like, maybe like seven years, right? So you're born, and then you had your first like solid meal. Um, uh, most babies, they, they feed off of their mom's milk, and then eventually they can eat solid food, and the moms are so happy they can start eating those. And I remember, um, yeah, when my own uh, children were able to start eating, they're like, wow, what is this amazing food? That's like right here. And then maybe first day of like priest, or first day that you walk. Walking is a big thing, right? For a lot of babies, it's really hard to walk because their legs are so jiggly and then all of a sudden they're able to finally like stand up and then preschool, right? Some of us are in preschool, it's like right here. And then kindergarten, you guys, maybe some people graduated kindergarten, going to elementary school, right? And then slowly you guys might be as old as some of the youth group students behind you, like right about here, six, seven, eight grade. Wow, you guys are that So now we're going beyond your life. And then now, yes? Why is it so small? I know. Because, so let's just see. Like, maybe like some of the teachers here were like 20s. I'm like 29 maybe. <laughs> maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like I'm not quite 30 maybe because I'm with you guys. Maybe I'm 44. And then uh, we go a bit more. But a lot of us, if we're blessed, we'll live to maybe 70, 70 years old. Doesn't that seem like forever? That's like 10 of your lives. It's like, for a lot of us, if you're 7, that's 10 of your lives. But compared to forever, it's really not that long. And we're talking about how much God is going to love you. God will love you, remember, before the foundation of the world, from the moment you're born, through preschool, through kindergarten, through all that, through as you get old by your parents, and then maybe like your grandparents, and even until the time that you leave this earth. That's just a little bit of how much God is going to love you. If you think you have all this time of God loving you and loving you and loving you and loving you and it's never going to end, shouldn't we feel so loved? Shouldn't we not worry about what happens in our short 70 years, but we're going to give it all? God does say, those who lose their life will save it. And it sounds weird. If you sacrifice this life, your eternal life is secure, and we have that in our Holy in the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Holy Spirit we say is a seal. Is a seal. It's like a tape or like a glue dot. Remember glue dots? It's like putting glue dots on your life, and it'll never go away. Okay. So that's the one thing I want you to remember. Let me pray for you all, and then we'll dismiss you into your classes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you don't just love us for our seventy years, but you love us for all of eternity. And it never ends. It's just after we just think of a later time, you even love us beyond that. And so I pray, God, that all these children may see the, the amazing love just upon their lives and help all the volunteers, the parents, the church family come around them to show them that same love as we have received that same love from you. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so.